So, <coughs> today, we're gonna go over and how to make these puddles. It's gonna be real easy. It's gonna be a, like maximum 10 minute tutorial on how to do these puddles within the scenery and how you can get reflections off of it as well onto the car. From, from the car actually, onto the puddles. Let's go over, do this, let's do this. So, here we have had a couple of planes, okay? And, as you can probably see, if you type into the material editor and try to find mat water, you can see water as hell. Tons of water materials, here's with bump map, here's without bump map. Um, so, we're going to go over it, and we're, I'm going to show you how to create a plane as well. So, go into the edit tab, go to add geometry, and add plane. Basically it. It will show up over here. And scroll down because I know I have it here. And move. Center. Snap to ground. And I'll always use the Y axis to get it up and down, up and down. So what we're going to do over here is we're just going to put it just on top of the ground. We're going to put water material onto it, onto it already. And you can see we have the plane. Now, what you want to make sure is whenever you're going to make a plane and you want to like a couple of these a uh, couple of one of those let's say five or six whenever you see in performance mode you see a black bar going across it that means these planes are overlapping so that you don't do not want to have those otherwise there's going to be black spots on your render as well and you can see already I'm overlapping two planes your position for these planes is going to be right under the wheel so you can see the tire and just on top of the ground plane that's this plane over here and you want to make it smaller as well so that way they don't overlap and you won't get these black spots now I already have three planes over here. One is a big one. It's that's a bigger, that's a small one, and that's the smallest and the latest I've created. Now we're gonna go to edit material and we're gonna put textures on it. Okay, let's go over these. The more refraction you're gonna have, the more reflections you're gonna get off the car. The more transparency you're gonna have, the more the ground is gonna shine through. The less you have, the less it's gonna shine through. Makes sense, right? But I don't want shiny things not that shiny and if you make it red it shows you had the murder over here um, because it's a Lamborghini it, it quite makes sense so we're gonna go to opacity we're gonna put my special water opacity map so that that opacity what opacity map does is it etches out the black spots uh, will actually edge out these edges and the white is only where the material is being applied so you can get a puddle effect let's put UV coordinates and because this is a square and meant to work as a plane I um, automatically use UV coordinates so see there's this <laughs> it looks like the Lamborghinis on its periods but <laughs> it's it's how it works. And unlike any other tutorial guy who is online, he doesn't make these kind of jokes, but I do. So I'm special. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna add a bump map so we can have some ripple effects as well. So we have some ripple effects over here. I'm gonna make it smaller, smaller, smaller. Oh crap. Also, keep in mind if you're doing this, go under opacity and make sure that the repeat function is off, otherwise, it's going to repeat itself. So, you have at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or, or maybe as much. It's basically it's going to overlap itself. You, won't, you don't want to have it. Uh, you're just going to make one simple one, turn off repeat, turn off synchronization as well. And that's basically one plane, one puddle inside. You're gonna use the same material, paste the material over here, 
paste the material over there. So you see, whenever I paste it from a smaller plane to a bigger one, it all automatically gets bigger because of the UV coordinates. Quite simple, right? And since these are linked materials, we're going to use copy, paste, paste. So we now have three puddles. Um, what we're going to do over here is we're going to actually put it into an inside scene. So I can show you how it works in an in, in, inside environment. But this is yeah how it works. This is how you make these kind of puddles and reflections come on to some kind of water material. Simple and easy plain opacity a little bit of bump to add some ripples and stuff and that's it duplicate it make some more out of the, out of them if you if you want to have blood you colorize it as well it's all up to your imagination i found it out actually by just doing a trial and error run on how it will actually work and it turned out to work great everybody else is asking me on how to do these in Keyshot. Now here's the answer. I'm going to turn performance mode off. You'll see a render coming alive. So let's show it to you real quick. It's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, because it's rendering an inside scene. I'm going to add a little bit of light. Also, I'm using IES lights to light up the scene. So, here we have a puddle over there, a puddle over here, a puddle over here, and here and there. Real simple to do. The end result will be like this. Even better, perhaps. And that's it. Nothing more to it. Simple, easy way to get puddles into your scenery. And if you want, you make it red. Just saying. Anyway, so this has been another tutorial for me. Um, I haven't had the time because I'm in the military. Now that I have my week off uh, because it's the holiday season. Um, yeah, I can make a lot, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I'm gonna do another one with the Lycan Hyper Hyperfort. Was it? Yeah, the Lycan. Basically, because they're making so bad renders, so, so I tried to, I'm trying to make a better one. <laughs> so, anyways, here's the tutorial. I hope you like it. Um, if I have time yet again, I will make another one. If not, then maybe some weekend when I get out of the military again, I can focus on T shot. So, it's been a, it's been a while. I'm sorry for being away. I'm sorry for not making it any kind of tutorials. <laughs> But that's how it is. That's how our military works. So, have fun guys and do these kind of puddles, right? And make your renders look awesome. <laughs> Bye.